Back for another episode of Dine with Klein. I'm joined by my friend Aaron Klein from the Bruce Craft House, B Hospitality, uh, the Windermere House, the Bruce Caboose, all these things. We extend down into Florida now, don't we? Oh, yes, everywhere. <laughs> so anyway, Aaron is here for another amazing episode of Dine with Klein, and I have talked to you about what we're, we're making here. I'm so excited. We're taking it to the streets of Mexico. We are. What are we making today? Well, I mean, with it being uh, fall in Ontario now, uh, there's nothing better than Ontario corn. Yeah, there really so isn't. We're going to make some uh, Mexican street corn soup. Amazing. So where, where did you where did you come up with this recipe? Were you down in Mexico? I was down in Mexico, yep. Uh, I was Playa del Carmen and uh, out in the street and had uh, uh, soup, tacos, you know the drill. That's... Yeah, it's amazing. Mexico <laughs> has this, I mean, so many different international places, and you've been all around the world, have a culture of street food. And a lot of their finest food is from the street. Like yep. in Mexico, you're going to go around and get really cheap al pastor tacos anywhere, so right? So good. Or you're going to get Mexican street corn. I remember being at a grocery store, and you yep. could just get street corn in the parking lot outside. Yep. Yep. I had some of the best tamales I ever had out of a guy on a bicycle. <laughs> so, I mean, this is really... So you're taking those street food elements yep. and bringing it into the kitchen and elevating it a bit and, and having a soup made out of it. We're making it into a soup or a sopa. Okay, a sopa. Sopa. So let, before we get over here, let's talk about what's going to be coming. Uh, what, so everyone can see here what's actually in this recipe. Uh, so we have some uh, red onion mm -hmm. or uh, cebolla roja. We have some uh, garlic. Uh, ajo blanco. Oh, we're learning Spanish today, too. We're learning bit. Spanish, everyone. <laughs> um, poblano peppers, uh, some jalapeno. Those poblanos are in season right now well, as right well. Now, right now, like gorgeous. this week. Yes, they so, are yeah. gorgeous. Uh, potatoes, which again, in yep. right now, too. Uh, we got oregano, cumin, a little bit of chili powder, uh, cilantro, salt, uh, lime. Uh, we're going to finish with a bit of queso cotilla, okay. um, which is a Mexican cheese. Mexican yeah. cheese. If you don't have queso cotilla, you can get feta yep. or, or something along those lines. Just something a little stronger, a little sharper. A little bit salty, yep. a little bit crumbly We'll get to there. that at that point, yeah. Yep, and then uh, a little bit of, uh, of heavy cream, and then, of course, the star of the show. And a lot of corn. A lot of corn. Quick question before we get started. You mentioned oregano. Is this, There's a difference between oregano and Mexican oregano. There is a difference. Yeah, so this they, is Mexican oregano? This is Mexican oregano. Yep. Uh, a little bit uh, different floral notes to it. Yeah, but. which you can get at any of your Latin grocery stores yep. around here as well. Yep. All right, so I'm excited for our Mexican street corn soup. Let's get started. All right. All right, so we're over at the stove. We're ready to go for our Mexican street corn soup. Let's get started, Aaron. Yeah, uh, so we've got a pot on uh, medium-high heat. Going to add a little bit of uh, neutral oil, canola oil. Uh, we're going to start off by uh, sauteing off our red onion and uh, peppers. So we're going to add those. Nice sear. Some of those beautiful poblanos. Um, this is literally one medium onion, one poblano pepper. Okay. And add a little bit of jalapeno. This is one jalapeno, again. Depending on your spice level. Yeah, so you're trying this, so. Yeah, I'm trying it. Whole thing, put the whole, whole thing in. Yeah, whole thing in there. Yeah. A little bit of gonna, uh, garlic. We're going to rename this segment Cause Sean Pain. <laughs> um, <laughs> a little bit of uh, garlic there, and we're just going to stir these around until they're soft. And just a question for Aaron, when you mentioned a neutral oil, I, obviously like a canola or a vegetable, yeah, absolutely. you don't want one aggressive, an aggressively strong flavor or like olive oil, right? No, no, not, not for this. Um, you know, just a pinch of salt. It's one of those ones you want to kind of season as you go and then taste as you go. So yep. you can, um, vegetarian soup too, actually. Vegetarian soup with all the best of what's in season in Ontario right now. Yes. At the time of shooting this. <laughs> Um, so we're just going to soften these up just a little bit, yeah, and then almost. once once those are soft, we're actually going to add the uh, potato in with all the water okay. reserved. So there's about uh, two potatoes there, uh, about two cups of water. Yeah. We're going to add that in in its entirety and, and the seasonings as well. I mean, it's a soup. You're going to be adding water to begin with, right? So you might as well put the starch in there. And if yep. you're making any sort of potato-based soup or chowder, right, you want that starch content to thicken it up, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm telling the chef about, uh, I'm really just leading into things I've learned from him. <laughs> this, this, this is just a shirt, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, use, we do use that, uh, we puree it just a little bit, um, just to kind of get a nice blend of, of, of pieces of corn and, then, and pureed yep. corn flavor. Um, what I found works really well too, if you have the time, when you take the corn off the cob, take those cobs, put that into water, make a corn make stock. Make the broth, yeah. Make a corn stock out of it. Uh, that just kind of enhances that. Uh, sweetness and that corn flavor. Yeah, I remember being at a, a, a Chinese hand-pulled noodle place and they had a corn-based tea where the cobs came in the tea and the flavor in there was just wonderful. Amazing. All right, so I think we are soft enough there. We're going to add this in our entirety. That's our couple cups of water and our potatoes. 
then we're going to add our, our seasoning. So we have that Mexican oregano. Yep. We're going to add about, eh, we're going to go the whole thing there, about a teaspoon of and that. And this is right away, right as you put those yep. potatoes in. There's no need to stew those for a bit. No, you want, you want all that flavor to kind of permeate yep. inside the potato there too. So we're going to go a bit of cumin. Yep. Don't be scared of the cumin either. And then some of that chili powder. And that's just basic chili powder, that's right? That's just basic chili powder, yep. Rogue onion. All right, so we're going to let that kind of uh, cook just uh, for a few minutes okay. until the, the spices kind of absorb into those potatoes. Then we're going to add some, uh, some corn and, and some more either stock, broth, or water. Okay. And, and we're going to let that keep cooking there. So. All right, so our potatoes, Aaron, have softened a little bit. Yep. We've got all those flavors coming together in there. The kitchen smells wonderful. Again, what's next? Uh, we're going to add a pinch of cilantro. We're going to add... Corn. Star ingredient. Fresh Ontario corn. The star of the show has entered the building. And this is six cobs. Mm -hmm. um, so again, add as much or as little as you like. We like corn. Yep. So steamed or boiled just and cooled and cut off the cob? Nope. This is just raw right off just the cob. Just raw right off the cob. Raw right off the cob. Okay. And uh, yeah, instead so if you want to steep those to make a stock out of, it's amazing. I'm just going to stir this to get uh, all of those flavors incorporated. incorporated. And then we're going to add just enough water to cover, and then we're going to let this cook out for about uh, 12 minutes, 12, 15 minutes, just until the potatoes are soft, and then we're going to finish it. And then the cheese goes in at the end, along with lime and... Oh yeah, everything. Okay. Yeah. All the fun. There's a lot of times you don't want to add cheese during the cooking process. No. You don't want to cook the cheese, you want to melt the cheese, no, right? No, it gets a little, little granular or yeah. gritty, and you just want to finish with it. Just like a risotto, right? Yeah. You're putting it in at the end. So we're going to let this uh, steep and finish. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. All right, Aaron, our soup has been going. It's time to take it off the flame and finish it. I'm so excited. It smells fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to take it over and uh, gonna, once our potatoes are soft, which they are, yeah. we're going to puree about uh, half of this. So pureeing it, like right now this looks like a delicious soup as is, but I feel like pureeing is just going to take it to the next level. 100%. You release a little bit more of the sweetness from the corn. Yeah. Uh, the, the starch comes out, the potatoes, you blend those in, it thickens up a little bit. Great. Works well when you add in the, the cheese and the, uh, the cream. So we're actually going to do that uh, right now. So if you've got one of these industrial hand mixers, great. If not, a kitchen hand mixer or blender. a hand blender. You, you yep. can put this in batches in a blender? Yep, 1,000%. So if you only want to do half of it, would you would you put it all in or just blend it at a certain level or just blend about half of it? Just blend about half of it, just like okay. that. So you see there, it, it's, it's thickened up quite a bit. So we've got some full uh, pieces. But we still have some, some full pieces in there. So I'll grab the ladle here and we're just literally going to stir in our queso cotilla. A little bit of our cream here. You're literally going to fold in the cheese. Fold in the cheese, 100%. Yep. And then just lime juice to finish. Yep. You're getting excited. I am really getting excited. <laughs> Can you tell? Like, this is amazing. <laughs> All right. So get a uh, juice of about two limes in there. Okay. And I'm just going to stir this in. And you'll just kind of see that start to come together a little bit. Yeah. There we go. And that is what we're going to take over to the bowl. Fantastic. And then garnish lovingly. That's the new name for the show, Garnish Lovingly. <laughs> All right, I'm good at that. All right, so uh, get a good texture. It's kind of like a chowder. I yep. think uh, you said that earlier. Yeah, and that's just the starches releasing from the, any, anything with potato in it that uses it as a thickening can be a chowder. It doesn't need to be seafood, right? No, not at all. So we're going to garnish with a little bit of cilantro here, and this is just if you're at home. I'm going to put a couple pieces of jalapeno like that, a little bit more of that queso cotilla because you can never have enough. You can't have enough cheese. And then, uh, yep, yeah, I just put a lime wedge on there. You can put it on the side, but whatever you want. And then, uh, yeah, there you have it. Mexican street corn soup. Delightful. Mexican street corn soup on this edition of Dime with Klein.